Get ready for some NBA action. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. Edwards on the wing. He's joined by McDaniels. Randall out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. And for the Lakers, the guard spots filled by Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three, the small forward. There should be plenty of action down in the painted area tonight, Greg, with the big man matchup in this one. Yeah, I, I love to see skilled bigs dueling down low. Kind of a throwback in some ways, but there's still plenty of physicality in the modern game. On the wing, Reeves. Edwards defending. And it's Hachimura penetrating. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Jaden McDaniel. Lakers shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Hachimura. And told now by our producer, uh, do we have him, guys? Okay, we do. We have a call coming in from Shams Tirani. Shams, thanks for joining us. What do you have? Thanks. And this summer saw the passing of Laker legend, three-time basketball Hall of Famer, the logo, Jerry West, an all-star every year of his outstanding playing career before going on to have such a successful career as a coach and as an executive. Guys, this league will bear his imprint forever. Jerry West will be missed. An all-time great for sure. Okay, Shams, we appreciate the reporting. Now here's Gobert, and here's Edwards from the arc. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey, Kevin, briefly spoke with J.J. Redick. And the first thing coach brought up, Rudy Gobert, the multiple-time defensive player of the year. Worried about Rudy's length, of course, saying it causes total havoc around the rim. So, the counter is lots of threes and avoiding Gobert in the lane. The French center still with a massive effect on the game plan. Kevin? Thank you, David. And Greg, it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to prove himself in the NBA. There's so much to like about his game. And as outstanding as his offense is, his defense cannot be overlooked. He is a lockdown presence when he needs to be. throw good Edwards you hear Doris people now calling Anthony Edwards one of the faces of the NBA and I'm assuming you'd agree 100% agree because the skills are extraordinary the development in his decision making has gone leaps and bounds from where it was beyond that Kevin he's a lockdown defender one of the best competitors fearless in the big moments and one of the most charismatic young men in the league today. This guy is spectacular. Now, here is Russell. James looking it over. A baseline J. Good on the shot. James has got his second basket. Well, LeBron James could be absolutely anywhere on the floor. If you want to concede the mid-range, he's more than happy to take it. And a left side. Davis against Gobert. As to Edwards, just five on the clock. Hits it from three-point range. Edwards got five. Well, don't think twice. Ball touches your hands. You let it go, Anthony Edwards. Reeves outside. Russell sets a screen for Reeves. Oh, no good on the triple. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Davis against Connor. Pass to McDaniels. Randall from outside. They get it back. Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. 
we always know this has been a strength of Rudy Gobert getting the offense. Los Angeles is gone. 0 of 2 from the pool. Outside Russell. Pass to Hachimura. Buries the long range jumper. Hachimura's got five points so far. Well, the team has preached to Rui Hachimura to be aggressive on the offensive end. That is the decisive decision making they're looking for. Now here's Randall. Back to Conley. McDaniels passes to Conley. No one near Edwards as he lets it fly. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Oh, that is a stone cold three by the Ant Man. You know, Greg, when you look at the Timberwolves' history, the first round had been a problem for them, but not last year as they swept the Phoenix Suns. And, and you got to look at it as being a tremendous success, right? Because going into the season, I don't know that anyone thought they would have made it to the conference finals. But boy, that young group gelled well together and the sky's the limit for the future. Here's James. Anthony Edwards making his last shot. Davis setting the pick for James. Back to Russell. Let's it go from deep. Julius Randle with the rebound. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And finished off by Gobert. Uh, just great recognition from the athletic big man. Gobert finish off the nice pass. LeBron kicks to Russell. On the wing, Reed. Edwards defending. And that one's good. Hachimura. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Oh, here's Randall. Still scoreless to the inside. Here's Edwards. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Greg, this is some kind of note. Last year, Minnesota, and for just the second time, had ever won a series in the postseason. Yeah, they've been bounced in the first round. 10 of 12 appearances. But last year's team was different. Their elite defense fueled the conference finals run. And he makes the first. And you can never really count out these Los Angeles Lakers, Greg, can you? No, I, I really don't think you can. They, they battle out of the play-in tournament. They overcome obstacles, and they have tremendous willpower. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Vanderbilt's checked in for LeBron. Connect comes in for Hachimura. Christie's checked in for Austin Reeves. And it's Gabe Vincent in for D'Angelo Russell. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Back to Vincent. To the middle. And it's slammed in by Davis. And phenomenal movement in that pick and roll. Davis has a sense for where to move after setting that screen. To DiVincenzo. Over connect. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Christie the pass to Vincent. Outside, Davis. Here's Vincent. Five to shoot. Shoots over Alexander Walker. Vincent misses. And so it's Randall bringing it up now for the Timberwolves. 34 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Reed. Jacks up a three. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Lakers have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Vincent, the pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Christie. Fires for three. Traps in the tray. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've got. Teammates. 
And Greg, you think about what they call float game. Why does that one shot earn a nickname like that? I mean, the, it's a badge of respect, right? The, the floaters, teardrops, whatever you call them, runners, often the finishing touch to an already well-developed offensive arsenal. They've got Christie, Jared Vanderbilt out there with Jane. Then it's Gabe Vincent, and it's Reddish in at the three. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Minnesota with the rebound. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop them, and that's never an easy task. They get the rebound. The shot by McDaniels, no good. The Lakers in the lead. Henson with it. He has yet to score. Vanderbilt, a screen on Reed. No good from LeBron. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Reed with a screen for Edwards. Oh, what a physical score from Edwards. Anthony Edwards has got his rhythm, and he's got a well-rounded offensive game. Look out. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Kevin, thank you very much. Jaden McDaniels has become an X factor for the Wolves. Mike Conley says we know what he does defensively, but the offense that he can bring for us balances our unit. It's much needed. Guys tend not to think of him as an offensive player, but he does have that in his game. Kevin? But I love the reference to an X factor. He definitely is that. All right. Here's Russell. Hopping on the board. Pass to Hachimura. Back to Russell. At the elbow, it's James. Over Ingles. And with that shot, the Timberwolves lead. He is cut down to just one on the bucket from James. The Timberwolves have gone 2 of 5 from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. You know, it's inevitable that a player's physical abilities diminish over the course of a career. But the thing that stands out to me about LeBron James is that he never lost his insatiable drive to win. Guys, if anything, he's gotten stronger. LeBron James charging through contact. And making it look easy, LeBron overwhelms the defense inside. Pass to Edwards, a three. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. Russell looking around. Out left to the wing. Hachimura down low. Defended by DiVincenzo. With the fadeaway. Hachimura no good. Minnesota's gone one or two on three corners here in the second quarter so far. Pass to Edwards. Back to DiVincenzo. Now, here's Ingles. No scoring in this one. For three, Edwards. Edwards with another miss. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Lakers. Trailing by two. And here's Hayes, trying his luck from deep. Anthony Edwards with the rebound. Pass to Alexander Walker. Now, here's Reed. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Oh! Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, easy call. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Minnesota. And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. Well, also, guys, what a start from beyond the arc. A huge part of their game today. That's going to help their spacing. And that one falls for Reed. Some changes for the Lakers. Davis comes in for James. And it's Austin Reeves in for Christie. And then for Minnesota, 
Randall's checked in for Joe Ingles. Nick Daniels comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And Mike Conley subbed in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. And J.J. Redick is called timeout. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. Conley against Russell. Pays the pass to Davis. Over Gobert. And it's Davis missing. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it, because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. DB, ever since winning the most improved player back in 2021, Randall has stayed scoring at an incredible clip. Yeah, Kevin, what makes this guy such a difficult matchup is his size and the ability to drive it. And now what you've seen is this evolution into a legit threat from three-point territory. He is such a difficult cover. First one falls for him. Vanderbilt's checked in for Hayes. Makes one of two that time. Lakers trail by five. Loads it up for Davis. And Davis throws it down. And really with the off-the-charts explosiveness, Davis just punishes opponents on those alley-oops. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you very much. The Timberwolves have become a rough and rugged team. Swingman Jaden McDaniel said, we don't let nobody push us around. We're always being physical defensively. I feel like we're a tough team, super tough. Kevin, they certainly have the size to hold their own. Always being physical. But David, that's their identity. And we thank you for the report. McDaniels kicks to Randall. Another miss by Minnesota. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Lakers. They trail by one. Pass to Russell. We've got 33 seconds left in the first half of the game. Count that bucket. You have the sense that D'Angelo Russell likes to play through contact. This is a tough-minded player. Randall finds it. Here's McDaniels for three. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Conley against Russell. With four seconds on the clock, and it's Davis missing. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Timberwolves. Push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. On the court for Minnesota, Conley and Edwards are the guards. Randall out there with McDaniels, and it's Gobert in at the center. Edwards against Reeves, and the basket by Edwards. Edwards got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the Timberwolves. Outside, Russell. Davis setting the pick for Russell. Shot clock at six. From deep. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's McDaniels. Nails the baby hook. 
McDaniels got the lead up to six now for Minnesota. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. And those advanced numbers, Doors, they show Rudy Gobert is historically great. Kevin, I love that you are an analytics lover, but for me, it's about the eye test. Rudy Gobert has won the Defensive Player of the Year on more than one occasion. He's played on winning teams, and he's been an integral part of their success. He is one of the all-time great defenders we've seen. And that one misses. Greg, as you were saying, beyond the blocks, what makes Anthony Davis special on defense is the way he navigates the floor. Kevin, most bigs can get picked on in pick-and-roll action. Davis, though, too quick and smart to take advantage of. He can slip screens, hedge, switch, and recover like he's a 3 and D wing. And the second free throw, good. And one of the best big men in the game, Davis continuing to prove how dominant he is. Conley dishes to Edwards. Edwards with a tough shot. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. And J.J. Ruddick calls timeout here. He wants to check in with his team and regroup. Played here in the third quarter. Russell and the layup fall. This guy an effortless score. Outside, inside, in between. Dynamic score is D'Angelo Russell. Outside, Edwards. Hachimura against McDaniel. Here's Edwards. Hachimura grabs the miss. Hachimura's got four rebounds in this game. Loads it up for Davis. It's stolen by Gobert. Randall passes to come. It's Edwards on the wing. Edwards slashing inside. Good D by LeBron. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Second chance shot. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Conley is surveying the D. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Conley's got the lead up to seven now for Minnesota. Hey, this guy is competitive. He's tough. And he'll play through contact. Mike Conley doing work inside. Davis with a screen on Randall. LeBron, good. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Outside Conley. Has to go bear. Edwards with it. Here's the three. Edwards, pure. Edwards, such an explosive score. You don't want to concede that three point shot, boy. That's going to make him feel good. LeBron outside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. And the first one at the line is good. Rui Hachimura, a guy who's willing to slot into whatever position the team needs him and works hard to help out on every single play. Do you love the hustle and the attitude? Christie, he's checked in for the Lakers. Minnesota also making some changes. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Edwards. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for Mike Conley. No good on the second free throw. Minnesota leading by seven. Alexander Walker on the wing. He's guarded by Russell. With the drive. 
The shot's good from DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo's got his first basket. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Outside, Russell. Pass to Hachimura. And rebounded by McDaniels. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. Now, Alexander Walker. Picked by Randall. There's the three. Christie with the rebound. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Hachimura down low. Defended by DiVincenzo. The layup missed. Pass to Alexander Walker. Back to Randall. Randall is doubled. Nick Daniels with the ball. Just five on the clock. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Davis with a screen on McDaniel. And LeBron used to getting hit. This is the level of attention this man attracts from the deep. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Timberwolves. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. Free throw good, James. The feel LeBron has for the game, unreal. Whatever situation he finds himself in, he always seems to have an answer. Radish, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Vincent comes in for D'Angelo Russell. And then for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. And it's Joe Ingles in for McDaniel. So one for two that time at the strike. Timberwolves leading by eight. He gets it in there. Well, that's Randall working in his comfort zone. You can see how confident he is on his ability to score inside. Randall against James. For the three. Tries to keep it alive. Julius Randall with the rebound. Randall's got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Ingles. And here's Randall. 26 seconds left in the third. Ingles can't get it to go. Lakers trail by 10. Here's LeBron. James gets inside and finishes. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Here's Randall. AT that time from James. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Cameron Reddish is out there with James. And there's Christie. Then there's Jared Vanderbilt. And it's Vincent in at the point guard. That's the Laker five. Timberwolves leading by eight. Pass to Ingles. Now Reed. Now Edwards. Started by Reddish. And yes, it's good. Edwards got nine points now in just the second half. Well, Anthony Edwards with that frame on the interior. Such a tough check. Here's Vincent. In the corner, it's James. Six on the shot clock. Shot from the wing. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. To the inside, here's Reed, and Reed throws it down. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. And here's James, he'll bring it up for the Lakers. A 12-point game. And they double up LeBron. Here's Reddish. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Reddish has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. 
Here's Alexander Walker, defended by Christie. Here's Edwards. Lakers with the rebound. Christie's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Vincent, defended by Alexander Walker. James, no good. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Ingles passes to Alexander Walker. Pass to Ingles. Launches a three. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Lakers trail by nine. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Christie. That shot off. Great D that time from Edwards. Now here's DiVincenzo. Back to Edwards. Pass to Alexander Walker. Let's it go with a three. Edwards can't hit. Los Angeles has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Back to Vincent. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Christie can't make it. Timberwolves leading by nine. Edwards drives in. And Edwards with the stuff. You better get out of the way. So much power from Anthony Edwards on that drive. Look out. And J.J. Reddick calls timeout here. It's a chance for them to regroup and refocus. Vincenzo. And it's Conley in for Nikhil Alexander Walker. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And here's LeBron outside. And again, no good by the Lakers. Minnesota leading by 11. Here's Edwards. Inside, Edwards finishes strong. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score lock in on the moment and play the right way. And he pulls off the Houdini to take that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. And here's Edwards. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Shoots the three, and he's good on the three ball. Edwards got the lead up to 14 now for the Timberwolves. Doesn't matter where on the floor Anthony Edwards is. That shot mechanic so pretty, so fluid. LeBron shot is off. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Has to go bare. And here's Edwards, launches it, and Davis pulls it down. We've got 118 left in the fourth quarter. Here's James, LeBron powering inside. Well, simply going to take more of an effort than that to deter LeBron James. The strength and the skill set are overpowering. Minnesota leading by 12. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Timberwolves. I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Anthony Edwards. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Hachimura setting the pick for LeBron. James with another miss. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Edwards, that's good. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Davis kicks to Hachimura. Reeves with it. 
So it's Minnesota winning this one easy. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good.